Black money still thrives and it is in demand in real estate. Ten days after the announcement of the war on black money on 8th November, Magic Bricks now set out to explore the reality on ground. Our reporter visited several projects by different buildings. Three bedroom luxury apartments priced at 2.75 crore rupees or 13,500 rupees per square foot. The offer register the flat at a price of 11,000 rupees per square foot. The caveat pay up the balance 32 lakh rupees in new or defunct notes. So it's currently in a button for 500 and will it work? Magic Bricks Now's next visit was to an affordable housing scheme in Kalyan West, a district beyond Tane. This building offers one and two bedroom apartments priced between 40 and 70 lakh rupees. Our reporter was offered a massive discount if and only if 50 to 60 percent of the payment was made in black. <laughs> Magic Bricks Now's reporter discovered a very similar story at another premium housing project in Mumbai. Demonetization has clearly made no difference. Maximum, how much is it possible? Up to Parana. That's the elimination. As you can see, while the entire country is refusing defunct 1,500 rupee notes, Mumbai's builders are openly asking for it. Magic Bricks Now's investigations clearly reveal that in real estate, black is still king. Your report, Magic Bricks Now. Magic Bricks Now's investigation on black money in real estate has sent shockwaves across the country. Political parties and parliamentarians react to the mega expose. There is a huge market of money laundering which has been created. He's corrupting the country and forcing the people to resort to illegal means. Has the government's war on black money failed? A Magic Bricks Now exclusive investigation. Well, that's the big expose we bring to you as our journalist goes underground to unearth the truth behind the real impact of demonetization on the real estate market. You saw it, viewers, and through the course of this show, we will play out all of those clips. There are several clips that prove that black money is alive and it's thriving in the real estate sector. Everyone was expecting that the clamp down on cash transactions will send the housing market into a tailspin and the prices would come down. But what we've discovered will shock you. Not only is black money thriving, there is now a parallel black market for black money. Has the government's move to ban notes curbed black money in the real estate market? That's the question we are asking tonight. In fact, we asked it on Twitter this evening. Has demonetization curbed the use of black money in the real estate sector? If you want to, you can vote as well. Just find us on Twitter at Magic Bricks now. In the meantime, here is the conversation and the people who will join us in this conversation, starting with Avdut Vag of the BJP, is a spokesperson. Clyde Krasto is a spokesperson of the NCP. Pankaj Kapoor, the managing director of Lysis Forest, and Ramesh Nair, chief operating officer, business and international director of uh, MRCS and JLL India. They bring in the real estate angle. Sujay Kantawala is a senior lawyer. So is Abba Singh. We'll also have other developers join us through the course of this conversation. Sanjay Jha represents the Congress Party. Jaina Ryan Vyas is a senior leader of the BJP. I want to welcome all of our guests. You saw those clips that we played out for you, and we'll play out more. But I want to start with the opening 
opening comments from all of our panelists. Sanjay Jha, I'm going to start with you. Sanjay Jha and Jaina Ranvya. Sanjay Jha, you first. Has the ban on cash actually worked? Because the, the trading right now in, the, in black money is almost brazen. Well, Fay, let me borrow the words of the former uh, Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Uh, it has been a monumental disaster. Uh, you see, black money, you know, end of day is a serious problem. We all recognize it. But to give it some kind of a cosmetic uh, tinge merely for electoral purposes is not going to solve the problem of black money in India. See, the bottom line in Fay is that you have to attack the source of where black money is generated. And secondly, target those who already have accumulated it over the years. Let's look at the source. The source is that black money today is kept in landed property, in commercial real estate, in residential property, which is why I think your expose is hitting the bullseye. Real estate is actually galloping away with black money. And from what I have heard, I'm sure a lot of people here will probably agree with me, is the big builders are actually selling their uh, you know, property at inflated prices, mm. taking the money in cash, and then they are distributing it in small portions through hundreds of Benami accounts, both in urban areas and rural areas. So I don't think it's going to curb black money at all. Secondly, look at bullion, look at gold, look at participatory notes in right, stock markets, right. and end of day overseas investments uh, to transport out through Hawala. So the source of the problem is not being attacked. I think that's the reason why demonetization is nothing but a drop in the ocean. Jaina Ryan Vyas of the BJP, do you, do you agree with what Sanjay Jha is saying? He's saying it has been a complete failure up till now. And see, we've proven that black money is still circulating in this market. And it's circulating, sir, with a daily premium. There's a spot daily rate to the old currency in this no, market. I, I, I admire the innocence with which... Uh, my friend Sanjay has interpreted or tried to interpret the situation to fit his own uh, arguments. See, let him understand first that this is an effort to ultimately without the black money in any form. And the black money economy, most of it thrived during the Congress regime, its size is anything between 40 to 50 lakh crores. It's not only in form of cash. Cash is the last form. No, no, Mr. Vyas, Mr. Vyas, the question I'm asking you is, the question I'm asking you is, given what metals, we've discovered in our jewelry, investigation, has so, the cash, has your demonetization plan worked? Given what we've discovered in our investigation, has the demonetization move of the government worked? See, no one move alone will work and it will be too early for anybody to jump to the conclusion. So I'll not buy that uh, argument that it has not worked. It will work because the word Sanjay mentioned, Benami transactions and Benami investments, the next, the, this government is honest enough at least in realizing that this is the next step. And they have therefore legislated the law making Benami holdings a criminal offence rather than a civil offence which was which it was earlier and it had never any teeth which was available today under the new legislation. So I think, you know, when we'll go step by step, it will be prudent to wait for some time, give this step taken, uh, some time to settle, then next step and ultimately you can review it over a long time because the, the problem that has accumulated over almost four decades is not right. going to go okay. away in, Clyde, by Clyde one step Clyde has to respond to that. Clyde has no to respond to that. We can't that. expect any and results from this one particular move. That we have to give it time. Is that, that a satisfactory is answer? Clyde Crasto. Well, you know, the, the whole, whole planning has been dissatisfactory to start with. You know, they've not planned this whole move correctly. Now, having said that, I would like to also tell you that you know, uh, there are a lot of, lot of voluntary schemes that uh, the government has come with. Like, you know, you can disclose your income, pay a certain amount of tax, hmm. or you can, you know, uh, deposit your no, money. You know, and, you know, like, no. Let's, let's f focus no, on the I'm, fact I'm that demonetization that. <clears throat> no. has costed the poor of this country dearly. No, that's what I'm what coming to. What is the end result? What have we achieved? See, that's what, the question I'm what asking. The, from what I see, that you know, what you've exposed today, is the builders have found a new route to use these voluntary schemes. Now, what you can hear in the video, which is not very audible to me here, but is that, you know, the, the people who are giving their money, 
they have been, you know, the, on the onset only, it's been devalued. Mm. So when you take a devalued money and then you go and probably say, you know, uh, voluntarily disclose the ski of money that you have or put it in the bank, you, the builder already has saved some part of the money because it's devalued. Mm. And then he goes and pays the tax and then he makes his money white. So you, you have given them a way to bypass all your laws and then to, uh, you know, make the, that money that they've earned with, out of the, you know, out of black to convert into white. And also the other question mm -hmm. here is, if the, if, if the currency has, is of no valid tender, how can they transact the business? Because the business that can be transacted is like you pay for electricity bills or you buy petrol or you, put, you know, buy something that's related to the government. Right. So on the onset, this whole deal that they're doing or they're talking about is illegal in, the, in the first illegal. place. Also in so the you cannot do that deal at all. Let's bring in, let's bring in the legal angles at this point. Uh, Sujay Kantawala, Abbas Singh. Sujay, I come to you first. Uh, this is obviously illegal and we've been talking for several weeks now about the impact of demonetization on various parts of our economy. My disappointment here is the lack of achievement. If we know that black money is trading so brazenly in the market, what have we achieved? Yeah, so uh, from the 8th midnight, it ceased to be legal tender. Nothing can be purchased or sold unless under the specified categories uh, which were specified. But this is a huge country. Let's look at it functionally. We are 125 mm. crores. We are so used to this cash economy that it becomes difficult to get out of this mindset. So I would not say that a couple of cases here and there means that the monetization policy has failed. I think it's a great move. Honest taxpayers like me look forward to this. We are lauding at it. Kudos to okay. your channel. Okay. But let me so, say this. Okay, so the so IT if there department, is a daily market trading rate, okay, that cannot happen because two or three people are doing it. If there is a daily spot rate for anything, a spot rate is only, only comes up when there is an entire market of people actively trading in a certain commodity. The certain commodity we're talking about here is yeah. the old 1,500 rupee notes. So, so therefore, I'll say this, that 120B, conspiracy, cheating, fraud <coughs> cases under IPC, these are clear-cut offenses under IPC. Action has to be taken. According to me, hundreds of youngsters have to be recruited by the income tax department. Mm. They should have crack teams and find out the source and catch these people and bring them to book so that they are they set an example to the other people. You see, otherwise, what will happen is that these people will get away with what they are doing and uh, the, there will be issues coming up time and again. So I feel and an appeal to the government that perform crack teams, catch these people, let them go from gully to gully, catch these transactions okay. while they're happening red-handed, right. and then this will be exposed. Abha Singh, this is completely illegal but it makes us question what we've achieved with demonetization. Definitely, there was 14 lakh crores of uh, uh, currency, that is 500 and 1000 rupee notes, which were in circulation, which were uh, demonetized on 8th. But uh, um, official uh, sources say 5 lakh crores has come, but uh, till now what... Uh, figures are trilling in is that 8 lakh crores have already been deposited in the account and still a month to go. So what is black, what is white? If some somebody is holding that money with him and he goes with a legal uh, uh, identity, there are so many people in the country who are coming up with their IDs and they are putting the money, as you said, uh, 2.5 lakhs. Jandan accounts has already got uh, 70,000 um, crores. So uh, if you see some money is already being uh, used and it has come into circulation, I think the whole scheme has turned out to be a big failure and I'm sure if almost 12,000 crores comes back into the bank, then what is black money? Secondly, what about the loss of daily wages? Almost a 2% uh, GDP, uh, it will be hurting the GDP. Around 3 lakh crore loss would be to the GDP. The, the, the development is going to come to a standstill. The common man is struggling. Laborers, migrant laborers have gone back to their villages. They are struggling for their daily wages. What about the laborer who was earning at the construction site? All the work has come to a standstill. So it is really debatable whether this monetization has really helped or not. Coming to the visual clips which you are showing that builders are taking this money, definitely the builders are taking 500,000 rupee notes because they have immense amount of money declared mm -hmm. as cash in hand, which is tax-free. And hence they are trying to circulate this money as cash in hand and that is why 
they are happily taking it. In fact, I am told in places like Surat and Gujarat, these old uh, uh, 500,000 rupees are being taken at a 5%, 10% premium because they have immense Absolutely, cash in hand. absolutely. You are completely are right, Abba Singh. Easy. In fact, let me just prove it to you. Let me prove it to you, viewers who are watching at home and to our entire panel. I'm going to play out a clip, and we have several clips. This is the first one where we actually hear a salesperson in a developer's office talk about the fact that there is a daily premium on the old note. She said, if you come in today, this will be the rate you have to pay. If you come in tomorrow, the rate would be completely different. You might have to pay 25%, you might have to pay 30%, it might be more than that. Come in and give us your money as quickly as possible and we will give you a flat in return. This is the clip we are playing out for you viewers. Take a look. So it's currently in abundance of 500 and Well, that's the offer if you're holding on to the old notes of 1,500, even after the government has stopped exchanging the thousands, there are developers in the city of Mumbai who will gladly accept it at a premium and a daily trading rate. Ramesh Nair is from JLL. Ramesh Nair, last week you were in this very studio talking about the fact that most of real estate is now white. Not only does it still follow half cash, half check, it now gives you the option of legal cash or even the illegal cash. We're willing to take both. Why is it that it's so difficult to clean out the black money from the real estate market? Like in uh, every industry, uh, real estate also has uh, good apples and uh, bad apples. Uh, I wouldn't uh, paint the entire uh, industry with the same brush uh, because of a few uh, incidents like this. Nobody uh, disputes the fact that uh, black money doesn't uh, exist in uh, real estate. It still uh, exists. But if you compare it to what was there 10 years back, the system is a lot, lot more cleaner. Uh, the very fact that uh, housing... but, but Ramesh, Ramesh, what I'm pointing out is obviously we are not in an era where we're giving things an organic amount of time to clean itself up. This is a government that wants to clean up now in two months. It's a clean up that just hasn't touched the real estate sector at all. Clean up is definitely not going to happen uh, in uh, two months uh, time phase. It's going to take some time but the very fact that this government has done uh, the demonetization drive also uh, acts like uh, RERA is definitely a very good steps to clean up the entire sector over a period of time. What we need to also look at is, look at the amount of institutional capital which is uh, coming to uh, real estate. Just the foreign direct investment in Indian real estate since 2005 stands at uh, close to $25 uh, billion, uh, private equity and uh, foreign direct investment. Look at the growth of uh, housing finance companies in the last uh, 10 years. Now, where is the scope for uh, all this? Again, I'm coming to the but, point. But, okay, so let me be honest. Our reporters, viewers did not even have to try that hard to find people who are hard selling these deals to them. It was almost like, and Pankaj Kapoor, you response to, respond to this, it was almost like the real estate industry was using demonetization as an opportunity Absolutely. to make a sale. Absolutely. And I see this like, you know, a couple of developers, or not only a couple of them, uh, certain segments of the developer have tried to find the opportunity out of this ab adversity and adversity of those investors who had this kind of a cash. I had a discussion with one of the developers because I've been listening to this grapevine. It started with NCR market where it was said that if a value of property is 100, builder is uh, you know selling at 130 and assuming the registration is going to happen at 75, so 55 you can give it in cash. 
people are not realizing that he's escalating the cost of the hmm. uh, property. So it's like that burning your cash. So what developers, the uh, uh, friend he told me, he says that today's inventory is so high. It is very hard to sell. This hmm. is an opportunity for the developer, even though he has to burn that 55, at least he got his prop inventory uh, sold out with 25% discount. And that's what is happening in this market. Frankly speaking, right. it is not of, uh, you know, something to do with the developer, but uh, something has to be, uh, you know, looked for those investors who want to really employ this kind of capital in this market. Frankly speaking, they're coming in the radar because of demonetization. Frankly speaking, first time in the last 10 years or 15 years we are having this debate. So it's a big success. At mm -hmm. least things are coming out in public. So, you know, in that sense, I see yeah. it's a good... So, you know, it's yeah. like... All right, let me, let me bring in... Let me bring in Abdul Vag. Abdul Vag. Uh, before I begin, Clyde and uh, bring in Clyde and, and Sujay, who want to comment on this, Abdul Bhag, what have we achieved with demonetization? Everybody knew it was an open secret that developers in the real estate industry would ask for part cash, part check. We thought that would stop. It has not stopped, Abdul Bhag. See, the war against corruption and black money is not, uh, neither it is one day international nor it is 2020 match. It is a full five days test match. And the match has started from 8th of November. It is going to last on 31st of March. See, the first phase of 50 days, Prime Minister is going to announce something on 1st of January. Second phase will come, third phase will come. Until the time we really rooted out the corruption from the soil of India, our Prime Minister is not going to keep quiet. Now, I'm just giving you whatever you have shown is a business gimmick, it is a marketing gimmick. The real estate is collapsed by 30%. When you are talking about 13,500 is a basic rate, the 30% comes out to be more than 400 rupees. So in fact, the builder is charging 11,000 rupees mm. and taking the balance amount in cash, even if he burns that cash, <coughs> he is happy. Because it is less than 30%. That I don't is point think anybody, let me be very clear, Abdul Talag, I don't think anybody is burning minute. cash in this give country right minute. now. Least this of all, people who are trading give in their 30% premium. Give me one minute. That yes. is the point number one. Point number two, if that particular cash, which is not a legal tender now, in the hands of the purchaser, if it goes to the hands of the builder, still it is not a valid money. Now, wait. Till 31st of uh, ja uh, December, anybody is allowed to put any number of cash of uh, old uh, 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 notes yes. in their uh, bank account. Nobody is stopping it. And the builder, being a current account holder, he can put crores and crores and crores of but money. But it, it doesn't mean that he's not accepting. He's saying that he will register and that he will register. It's about how much duty you pay on that deal. All that money will be a legal money. He has to give an explanation. As per the income tax act, the onus of proof lies on that particular deal. I'm opening up the debate for everybody on the panel. I have two things to say. Yes. Two things to say. To start with, I'm just going to say what Mr. Wark said. He spoke a lot about cricket, but in a look at the things around here, it looks like the team is placed for you know, offside kind of bowling, but the bowlers are bowling on the leg side. Mm. So everything is going wrong. I think the field placement is all that wrong. That is called as Having dusra. said that, that is I, would, I, would, dusra. I would like to... Uh, you, know, I, yeah, you know, I tell you what, Mr. Yeah. Abdul Bhag, 70 people yeah. have died after demonetization yeah. was announced. I think it's fairly disrespectful to, to call it a cricket patch. Yeah. Let's That's, be serious about what yeah, we're talking yeah. about here. This is not a cricket match. Yeah. It's not a baseball match. It's not a kabaddi match. People are dying. No, I agree. Ramesh Nair, do you agree? Do I have, I have, I have, but I have given an example. Ramesh In a debate, you have to give an example for the audience to understand what it is actually. People are talking we about are it like a joke. People That's are talking about the scheme is failed. But it is Sanjay not so. Shah. There are so many things yeah, that are going to come. The too, examination okay. is not complete and you are saying that the student is failed. Fair, How can you fair, say can that? I make a point? Give yes, some Sanjay time to the Prime Minister. Sanjay Shah, go ahead. Give some time to the... Sanjay Shah, go ahead and then we go to Jaina Raya. You cannot just go on declaring results. I wanted to make a point here. Yes. Yeah. Sanjay Shah. The point... Yeah. Sir, sir, if you if you kindly listen, the point, Faye, the point is that even if you take a very liberal estimate of ca of black money being held in cash, I mean nobody is predicting that it can be more than six or maybe even seven and a half percent of the illegal money or illegitimate money is held in cash by the real financial crooks who instead of giving it to the government hold it in their own you know whatever private balances. The fact is that if you are targeting 
uh, only 6% of black money which is going to be held in cash, you are really kind of looking for a needle in a haystack. Because the truth is, the majority of the money is in real estate and other transactions that we talked about, whether it's bullion, gold, diamond, jewelry, uh, stock markets, or overseas investments. So uh, let me tell you an interesting part, because Janera and Vyas made this comment that I was trying to give it a political spin. But Mr. Vyas, there is a very serious allegation against the Bharatiya Janata Party, which is why all the opposition parties are asking for a JPC, that your party told many of its cronies and friends about the demonetization, including the Bharatiya Janata Party office bearers, who have converted their black money into white before, before the 8th of November. In the JDU in Bihar, is alleged that Amit Shah, Mm. has actually, along with the rest of the other BJP members, has bought landed property using black money in Bihar. No, this so is wrong. This day, is I wrong allegation. Be, you Mr. Know, Zah, so this is a wrong, wrong allegation. Jenna and Vyas respond to that. Jenna and Vyas respond to that. The property is purchased by Where is the cleanup? I want to know, as a citizen, as a citizen who has not been able to access my own TDS white money from my own bank account, I want evidence of a cleanup. I don't have evidence of a cleanup. Jenna and Vyas, where is the cleanup? I understand what kind of job you are at it. See, I will, I will go to Sanjay's leader himself. What Say, do you Dr. Mean? Manmohan Singh in the Rajya Sabha said that demonetization is not bad. There is nothing wrong with it. It, it is a right step. It is a, right, a step in right direction. With this prologue, then he's, as a as a opposition, it was his job to say that, but the system is not in order. So, Mr. Sanjay Jha, <coughs> as far as the demonetization on, is concerned, Ji, your supreme leader. No, no. Uh, he, he has endorsed General it. Vyas, you're missing. You're not answering my question, Mr. Now, Vyas. Mr. Vyas, said, where is I, the cleanup, sir? Where is the evidence of the said, cleanup? Where is the evidence of the cleanup, sir, that the people yes. of India have been promised small term pain for long term gain? Where is the gain? You have to wait for some time to see the gain. Understand. Can I come in between, Ray? Yes. Sheikh Jal, I'll come to you in a second. Let Mr. Vyas finish his point. Permit me to make my argument. Understand that this is just a beginning. Yeah. This is just a beginning. In case of income disclosure scheme also, there were similar discussions. Nothing is going to come. It has failed. Nothing will work out. At the end of the day, it, it netted the highest amount through voluntary disc, uh, disclosures. So to say this scheme is not uh, a success is too early. I am 100% confident that it will succeed. Second, okay. you, Sanjay very rightly said that this is the smallest part of the parallel economy. And that is with which the BJP government under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started. The next, we have already legislated the Benami Holding uh, uh, Act, making it a criminal activity. So let the game go further. I am sure the Prime Minister is determined to wipe out the black money from this country and we shall succeed. Okay, I, so I don't I'm think there is right any now, need for having any apprehension about it. What I'm hearing right now is multiple benefits reaction. will come from multiple moves, but I'm still not hearing a clear benefit that's coming from this one particular move. Clyde, you had a question and then I want yeah, to go to Ramesh yeah. and Pankaj and Israel yeah, to talk about the 30% cut in real estate. I, I want to get back to what Mr. Ramesh Nair said. You know, you just, uh, you know, seeing your credentials, I'm sure what he said was authentic. Because a little while ago, you just said that, you know, in the last 10 years, you know, this whole system of real estate is cleaned out. There's no, you know, very little black money left. So doesn't uh, this whole move about demonetization and what clips we see right now is kind of bringing that black money back into play and, you know, actually d dirtying the cleaner waters that was there right now. Because, you know, if they had not done this whole demonetization scheme or mm -hmm. had planned it even a better way, well, like you said, over a period of 10 years, it would have just got more cleaner and cleaner and better. Hey, uh, I think the BJP uh, spokesperson here who said uh, real estate prices have uh, dropped 30%. Uh, I think uh, as a ruling party, one needs to be very careful before uh, making uh, such comments. Mm. Indians save around $160 billion every year in real estate compared to just $5 billion in uh, stocks and uh, mutual funds. Are you saying every Indian who invested money in real estate has lost 30% of his value? What are we talking, uh, Faye? Uh, we need to be very, very careful while making such uh, sweeping statements. I will, I, I'm making an open offer to our BJP spokesperson here that uh, his, anyway, real estate has crashed 30%. So his value, his house value is also less by 30%. I'll buy it from him today. 
I'll write a check. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, savings. So we should be very, very careful while making such statements on uh, national uh, television. Just come and say 30% uh, loss in value. All, all, everybody, say, look at our parents, look at our cousins, look at our relatives. All our savings have gone into real estate. And somebody just comes on TV and says 30% uh, correction in real estate. Pankaj, Pankaj. Uh, be careful. Uh, you know, the I, I the real estate valuation I, I of Mumbai is inflated. It is inflated and One because second, of that let them, inflation, let them, let them, the let them real value of real estate is not just lost 30% of the value. If you just go with the money today, no. people are ready to give you 30% discount. I challenge you, come and I will get you 30% discount from whatever property you talk about. How much in white now and how much in black, is, Mr. Now the problem, it you know, is crashed, it is crashed. 30% discount, how much will I have there to pay in cash, Mr. Coming Mr. Out. You there know, are a lot of schemes government is implementing for for example government is implementing affordable housing government is giving lot of land for the affordable housing you know, that is why all the all okay, the money Pankaj, want Pankaj, to Pankaj, you know I, I want to I, 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 I disagree what Ramesh said that if you look at that uh, you know last 10 years we have seen the highest surge in the real estate prices and that is the time I've seen the drop in the sales and that is the time I've seen the maximum amount of investor involvement. And that is the time I have seen the maximum amount of inventory getting built up in a city hmm. where we have a housing shortage. You know, so that is the time. So if you look at when the cash flow increases, when the lot of money comes in, that time the inflated uh, inflation in that or value inflation takes place. So it's not that the 100 rupees gets divided 70 and 30. It is like the man, when the 30 rupees comes, which is in black, <coughs> that is the time the value becomes from 100 to 130. Mm. Second point is like when Ramesh is saying that a lot of things have got changed. If you look at 2007, when we had the real estate stock, uh, a BSC Realty Index, which does to 11,000 okay. rupees as okay. its okay. You know, indices, this, this, today it this. is 1,400. <coughs> so Pankaj, Pankaj, the yeah. practice of only registering at ready reckoner rate. So for our viewers who don't understand, the ready reckoner is the floor, the minimum okay. price that the government assumes you will have to pay for this house. Most people register at that rate and everything Absolutely. else goes in cash. How rampant is that in the market today, Pankaj? It is, it is. And one more thing, if you look at and see the price productivity, the ready reckoner rate is actually the fair market value. Hmm. Any market you go and see that, if the ready reckoner rate is 30% lower than the prevailing market value, that is the where you see the lot of black money is getting employed yeah. in that particular market. Mm. Registration value I have seen across market, more or less. So let, me were... bring in, let me bring in Sheikh, Israel Sheikh. Israel Sheikh, how many developers do you know who are registering at the ready reckoner rate to avoid taxes and taking the rest <laughs> in cash? See, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, first of all... You don't I... have to give us names. Just tell us how many you know of. I don't see sometimes, see, uh, let me be honest, because it's a good step towards our nation, people, uh, our government is trying to make our country better. A lot of few developers are there, in, again, in the, some circumstances, not all the time they are resisting. And the reason of taking cash, there is a reason behind it. What there is are the a lot reason? of politicians sitting over here. Yes. At the same time, when you go for a sanction, they need cash. I'm telling you honestly, at the same time... Do they time, need cash or do they want cash? Shake. They want cash. Right. They want cash. And at the same time, all, all the politicians, whenever they go for a fight for election, can you tell me any politician, oh, it's an open secret, they take money in cash. How will they fight the election? Do they earn money every month, a crore rupees? They spend so... Let me complete, sir. Let me come. Mr. Jha, let me complete. Do they earn money every month, crore rupees to spend over there? This is an open secret. I mean... If, I mean it's simply, if the developer is taking cash, that money is going to be parked somewhere. How does the developer get cash money? Either politician is giving, either some businessman is giving this cash. See, if I'm getting a business in white, I will be willingly or happily I'm going to do with this business because I wanted to, I don't want to keep so many accounts because cash is something you need to keep in your mind so many things. That's so. Come again? That's so. Yeah, so, so many things we have to keep. Our government is trying to do demonetization. Uh, we must really appreciate that. At the same time, we, are, we have a sympathy. 70 people died in India, which is not a good sign. But at the same time, you must think that hundred of, hundreds of militants died every year in no, our no. country. Nobody goes, nobody talks about that. Why? No, no, focus, Israel Sheikh, focus on the problem. You are saying that developers have to continue to take cash no, because politicians are taking no, no, cash. No, 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 no. Madam, Madam, Madam Fay, I, have, I haven't said that developer have to continue. I haven't said that. It's like a chain. 
if government Sam and authority will stop taking this we don't want to give cash to anyone at the same time politician also hmm. see why do we need cash basically okay. see that money so what is the meaning of black and money is never black and white the place where it is power it's black and white for example I have earned white money if I have given to you you haven't paid tax on that that it become black at the same time if you have taken that black you have given to a movie ticket that person has paid the tax it become white Money is never black and white. The sure. place where okay. it is parked right. is black and white. I appreciate your honesty. Israel Sheikh, I appreciate your honesty. And I want, I want to bring in Abha and Sujay here. Sujay, you first. It's, he's very obviously saying that there is a, there's a pay chain here. And it's money that has to be passed on. And again, another open secret is building approvals for which a lot of cash changes hands. No, fair enough. I, I, I see his point, what he's saying. So that is the whole idea of this uh, exercise that the Prime Minister has undertaken that he wants cash to be eradicated from the system. Perfect. But it will take time. Look, it How is going to take time. And we are, look, we are 125 crore people spread across a huge spread. Um, different cultures, different religions, everything mixed together. So it is going to take time. And this is a good step. People like you and me who pay our taxes, we are the first. After that, people will see our examples and follow. Therefore, no, no, I've been paying taxes those, for, uh, for over a decade. Right. Nobody so has those, followed my example. So those, so those examples that you have shown, where cash was being offered, that is illegal. Le it cannot be paid in consideration of a sale. It cannot be exchanged in any manner, 500,000, save and accept as uh, uh, decided to be deposited in the bank or maybe used at chemist or petrol pump, etc. Or paying your bills, your so government bills. irrespective of the reason behind it, just accepting that cash is illegal. Paying is illegal, offering is illegal, and accepting is illegal. What this uh, person should do who wants to buy a flat, deposit the money in the account, and oh, then no, pay no. the builder in check. Oh. That is the right thing to do, because the Prime Minister has said, aap soja aram se ghar pe, aap bank mein deposit karo paisa. That is the whole idea. Right. So, uh, in cash, physical say... cash, it is illegal. Pay it in the bank and pay buy your flat. That's all I'm saying. You know. I, I, don't, I, I don't think putting it in the bank and buying your flat is the problem that they were necessarily solving in this particular case because the idea was to particularly pitch to people who have the, uh, the old tender notes to say this is what you can do with it. And I'll play those clips for you in a little while. Abba Singh, does it matter what the reason is? Illegal is still illegal. See, the issue here is why, what was the aim of demonetization? To uh, control the black money and to wipe it out of the country. But has this scheme been able to wipe out the black money? Uh, as it is, I said, a lot of money has reached the banks. 30 days more to go uh, from the 14,000 uh, crores. I'm sure almost 12 would reach the banks. So then the purpose has <coughs> failed. Secondly, builders are taking, you're very correct, they're taking this money. As I said, they have cash in hand. And the issue is, who has been hurt? The poor man standing in the lines is happy, thinking that the rich have lost their money. Not knowing that the rich and the powerful are using the plastic money. They have enough cash in hand. There are so many uh, companies uh, which have set up small uh, uh, companies of 2 crores, 4 crores, and people are buying in lieu of their 500 and 1,000 rupee notes. Who is dying? It's the common man who is standing in the, in the line. And in fact, the judiciary should have come in the uh, help of these poor people because somewhere mm -hmm. Article 21, right to life, is a major thing. It is what right to life. What can the judiciary have done? Because the, poor, the daily laborer no, doesn't able to one, earn one, one, his daily bread. What can bread. the judiciary do in this case? Why what are you bringing oh. the judiciary in this, uh, uh, Abba? I don't understand what the no, uh, see, how is the judiciary? The, no, the judiciary had a very powerful role. No, no, how judiciary, is the judiciary not, to why not to take up right all to issues? They have no other work to do. A person is unable to earn his a poor laborer is unable to well, earn his daily bread. Well, let's let's also point out the fact. Hang on, let's also point out the fact, Sujay and Abha, that we discovered on this show on Friday that the courts only accept courts only accept all payments, fines, and bail in cash. So courts have effectively come to a grinding halt. Let us stop emotional blackmailing. Let us talk about economy. No judiciary had to. No come emotional blackmailing, please. Let us, Let, us Let us talk about economy. Let us talk about economy. Common man, a person getting married cannot take out the judiciary. Please, two point five lakhs. How can you expect we have such a big economy?
Abha ji, how, do, how can you expect we have a such big economy of 125 crores people in our nation and you expect that everyone and will be... And you are saying that builders don't take cash. No, no, no. no. I no, think no. then you don't see, know. See, see. Builders are taking this cash to pay the BMC see, to see. pay all corruption. Every builder takes... Um, uh, Not every. Abha, Abha. Let, let, let us be honest about it. Madam, that let me come on that point. Not every point. developer is taking cash. And, and uh, registration is done on ready reckoner rate. No, 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 no. Let me play this clip, Baba. Let me just prove this for everybody who said no, 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 no. no. Let, let me play a clip. I'm playing a clip about sense. ready reckoner rates. Madam, listen to me. I have registered an agreement where the ready reckoner price was 6,000 rupees per square feet. Fe, fe, I have paid 11,000 rupees per clip. square feet. Uh, I will I'm give you another I'm going to ask my producer to play the clip. Mr. Sushi Balsar, do you know? Yeah, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you another minute. Even though you are giving us 50%, so we have to have a handsome rate for our business. 50% is also how we are actually going to ask you. If you are ready to make a rate, then you are ready to make a rate for our business. Well, if the audio was not entirely clear, if you give us 60% cash, I'll give you a very handsome rate. We'll register it at the ready reckoner rate. Baki sab upar ka... Baki sub cash. Fair Sanjay Jha. Let me tell you one thing. I'm a developer. You can check entire my property which has been sold in last you know, couple failure. of years. No, no, no. See, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying all developers are doing it. I'm not value. saying all developers are no, doing it. Abha, I, even Abha, if one does it, that's bad enough. Yes, it's even wrong. if one person does it, that's bad enough. Give me three, three daily wage laborers right now who are able to get work, who are able to access accounts, who are able to send money back home to their families. They're not. Yeah. There's, there's a price that they're paying for a sweeping carpet bombing cleanup yeah. of this nation, which is not happening. See, Even if three builders are doing labor, it, that's we need bad to think enough. About the Sanjay as well of our country. Where is the cleanup? Sanjay Sanjay we have to think for that also. We just can't only just depend on the laborers. You, 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 yes, laborers are you know, you know, Faye, Faye, let me uh, complete you know, the yes, Prime yes, Minister of India keeps talking about... Mr. Sheikh, who builds your buildings? These are the people that... Sir, sir, I agree that I'm not, I'm not saying so friendly you, you, no, no for no, that, no. but at the same time, no, no, you, we have you, to think, have we must show some sentiments towards that them. We are and these are the people who are suffering. These are the people that lay the foundations so to your why brain. Don't, why don't we agree on yeah. that? We, every so year, hundred of, more than 100 them. of militants they die because of that also. Today. Because of they are the ones who don't have their daily bread. They are the ones who are not getting the money. Sanjay Shah. They are not coming to, uh, reporting to work because they are the militants. Life, what about the militants? A lot of yeah. 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 comes over here, they get a lot of cash. Point. From one where they get one money, one this one money. Sorry, Why should we appreciate that you thing? Are, you are saying that before de no, uh, uh, yeah. monetization, say the point I'm making is of hunger in the that country. the no, Prime no, Minister let me tell you, is let talking me about a cash economy. Let me come on that point. Let us talk about demonetization for a minute. Let us talk about demonetization. Let us not have emotional attachment. Tomorrow. Let us not have Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the economy, sir. If you give me a minute. I'm talking about the economy, if you kindly listen. Allow me to complete my this thing. One second, You know, pay the critical. The point is I will come back that to you. we are talking Shashin, about... Have plenty of clips to yeah. play and I will come back to you after the next clip. I promise you that. Sanjay Jha, make your point, please. Yeah. You, you know, Faye, the critical point is when the Prime Minister keeps talking about the cashless economy, you've got to look at what are the ground realities. Uh, roughly 500 million people in India, that's more than, uh, you know, almost close to twice the size of America, People don't have bank accounts even today. That That's a reality. You, Sanjay you got two we crore have, have opened or two or crore three crore, crore your credit account. card. Yeah, just a minute, just a minute. Can you stop making political points? We are talking some you serious are making, we are ground not. level realities. There are roughly three crore credit card holders. There are roughly nine crore debit card holders. Can you imagine that overnight you want to change the entire informal sector, mm -hmm. that is roughly 90% of the employment in this country, into a cashless economy? How are you going to do that? You know, you, you know, end of day when Dr. Manmohan Singh and several economists have said that this is going to cripple the economy because a lot of people's livelihoods depend on cash transactions and everybody who's standing in a queue is not a corrupt black marketer, I think the government has clearly missed the woods for the trees. And you know the critical point, Mr. Modi has been having for the past year and a half the list of all the big black money offenders who are listed in the Panama Papers. Even in Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif is under heat from the Supreme Court of Pakistan, but in India, 
we are maintaining an extraordinary silence on all the biggies that have been named in the Panama Papers. And there was a gentleman who mentioned something about political parties. And I will, as a responsible spokesperson for the Congress, will tell you that I do support that all political parties must come under the RTI for funds disclosure. We need to disclose what a source of funds is. Mm. I back that idea. I think electoral funding needs to be more, made more transparent. But the builders can't use that as an excuse because the truth is they exploit many, many buyers by charging you know, them cash in I an wanna, exorbitant fashion. I want to put this point forward to our entire panel. Israel, I'll come to you and I'll also come to Mr. Vyas. Now, on one hand, we're talking about the fact that builders are, there are several, several builders, not all of them, several builders are using their projects at this point to funnel old notes and convert them into real estate. But the larger long-term gain would come if the no, new I, tender 2,000 oh, rupee yeah. notes was not being collected in cash, if it did not continue in the future. But we have proven through this investigation that they are saying, if you want to pay me new notes, I will be very happy. In fact, I'll give you time till February next year to collect the new notes and give them to me in cash. It's not about desperation. Mm. It's about making a very quick buck. And less than three weeks after that big announcement, your entire cash corruption yeah. system has regenerated, regenerated itself absolutely. and it has risen. It was never dead. We have actually achieved precious little through this move. I want you to listen to this clip where this person says, if you give me new 2,000 rupee notes, I'll give you time till February to make the payments. Listen. <laughs> that developers now are saying take the next three months put together your cash and new 2000 rupee notes and we will be very happy to accept that anyone who wants to respond to how this entire black market has regenerated itself mr vyas wanted to make a point i'll go to him first mr vyas what have we achieved Okay. Mr. Vyas, can you hear me? Fair, I can't hear Mr. Vyas. Okay, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to him. We'll come back to yeah, him. Yeah, is it a question to me? Yes, my, my question have, to you, sir, is if major, the black market have, has regenerated itself, to what, have we, what have we achieved through demonetization? See, I will start with Harold Jinnan, who said, Larger is the system, larger are the layers of inefficiency. So to believe that overnight the step is declared and everything will disappear, I think we, we are expecting some magic wand to move in the country and things happen overnight. Nobody Wasn't expected that. Wasn't that the promise that, that was made, though? Cash Mr. Vyas. Is a Wasn't that the promise that was made? Real, this entire move was meant to be this drastic and because no, it would be an overnight no, cleanup of this country. Just well, permit me to. Permit me to okay, make go my ahead. argument. Go ahead, go Permit, ahead, make your argument. You can, you can, you can cross-examine me if you have any problem. Please don't interrupt. Let okay. me permit, uh, permit me to make my argument. See, to have real estate, these practices are not uh, uh, yesterday's practices. It's a trickle effect. And the fact that if you look at the real estate market, what has happened? As per the SOHM survey, Delhi NCR has 35 to 40 percent of the inventory locked. Mumbai has 27 to 30 percent inventory lock. The, uh, the Bangalore has 25 percent. 
Chennai has about 25 percent. Now, in that kind of a situation, maybe there are some builders and maybe there are some takers who are making this kind of an effort as the last ditch effort. This will not work because Benami transactions will take care of it. So to say that this has failed or this has not worked is not correct. Answering my friend Sanjay Jha, I would again borrow from Mr. Nandan Nilekani's article. If he's willing, I'll forward him uh, immediately after this debate. He has said with 90 crore tele uh, mobile phones and which are still increasing, maybe in two to three years time, the entire commerce system and the system of payment will grossly get revolutionized. Each mobile phone will become your passport, it will become your... That's, that's, that's uh, a beautiful dream, Mr. Vyas, but in the meantime, so the poor facilities. will starve so and the rich so will fill their coffers. The technological interventions. In the meantime, in the meantime, daily wage laborers can't no, get any not. work. No, it's not. Mobile phones are not only with the reach. There are 90 crore, 90 crore mobile phones in this country today. Clyde, do you want to respond to that? Well, well, uh, he, yeah, is he, is he trying to compliment the earlier sir, government or WhatsApp is he trying service. to make a point here? I think Sanjay, Sanjay Jha, Mr. Jha, I think he's trying to compliment, uh, you know, uh, the earlier government, the our government that was there. So, I, you know, by, by complimenting what Mr. Nandan Nilekani did, so all the okay. all the kind of well, credit that they no were trying to take here seems to they, be like, you know, because, actually credit goes to end Mr. Of day, Nilekani. It was, it was uh, Nandan Nilekani who made Aadhaar happen. Absolutely. Right, no, no, let's, let's focus yeah, on the story. Let's focus Nandan on the story. Nandan Nilekani was part of the UPA when the Aadhaar card happened. Let's, okay, gentlemen, let's let, let, let's focus on the story. We're sure. still talking about the fact that but the there, practice nobody, of, nobody of, of using that. black Let money is rampant still. Let that new credit be given still. to Nandan Nilekani. He did an excellent job. Yeah, thank but you very much. But now when he says that that platform thank you will for be converted for all your transactions, why do you not believe him? Okay, I want to focus this conversation back on the topic that we are discussing today. We have evidence to prove that the that the I concept. I am complimenting Nandan Nilekani's effort. And even if your government has done some good job, what is wrong in complimenting yeah, it? Thank you so we much. It was a Congress issue. Gentlemen, 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 I want to focus wrong. back on, on, on the black money that we are talking about. You know, we, have Ramesh Nair. We, have, we have given that credit to Nandan Nilekani, which Congress precisely failed to give him. No, no, the Congress gave, uh, the okay. uh, UPA government brought in Nandan Nilekani because they had the foresight. <laughs> Therefore, they brought him in. <laughs> They, they had the foresight, the UPA government had the foresight, therefore they brought in Mr. Nandan Nilekani. You brought and him they, in, he's already been complimented. We don't need services. to tell you that we did that. Exactly. Yes. All right. Let me bring in Ramesh Nair. If you were so serious about Modi Nandan Nilekani, you would have given result. him a safe Lok Sabha seat. You, Nandan Nilekani would have been in Parliament. <laughs> okay, sir. All right. You uh, put Ramesh Nair, Ramesh Nair. It was sure defeat. Ray, I think we should talk think, about how, black money. What how much? What is it? What is it going to take <laughs> to clean up truly and in the in the true spirit the real estate sector, Ramesh Nair? Well, let's yeah. accept that there is a problem. Now let's talk solutions. I think the first and most important is uh, cleaning up the demand side. Uh, why is there so much of cash being generated? Obviously, developers uh, need to uh, pay for approvals. Developers need to uh, get into land aggregation mode. I think a lot of uh, land aggregation paying cash uh, will get stuck over the next uh, few quarters. Uh, there would definitely, uh, the government needs to fix the demand side uh, from an approval uh, point of view. If that can be done, uh, obviously people will start doing lot, lot, lot more uh, white transactions. Mm. We overall believe that uh, this demonetization drive will uh, have an impact on interest rates. Uh, with so much of money coming into the banking system, uh, interest rates will uh, drop, which will make sure home loans uh, become cheaper. Risk weightage for uh, re real estate loans will also become lower, which again increases mm. fund flow. Uh, we believe there will be a lot more people who will uh, qualify and become eligible for uh, home loans, uh, which again uh, helps uh, the sector. Uh, this will definitely help India. No, so uh, if, if the practice of, of part cash, part check continues, Ramesh, doesn't that keep the prices high? Isn't that what is keeping the prices high right now? I think your show today should be a wake-up call for developers. Uh, I've always found it uh, quite uh, quite scary that uh, marketing uh, people uh, within uh, uh, some of the developers' offices uh, who directly talk to uh, prospective customers on cash. I think this is a big uh, wake-up call, wake call for developers to clean up, uh, clean up their act. You know, I want to play clear, clip number five. And when we are talking about cleaning up an act, I want I want the panel to sort of listen to this sales pitch that is being made here by this salesperson who is obviously using demonetization as an opportunity to further sales. Saying, what are you going to do with this money? It's going to turn into paper. It's going to turn into raddi. You're far better off investing this in real estate. 
come and buy a house with us and we will make sure that you're happy. This is what this is what the clip says. And we're just going to get that clip ready. Um, Abha Singh, it's very clear evidence. If everything else set aside, if we just focus on the illegality of what is happening here, that these developers are not desperate, that they are making hay when the sun shines. Exactly. I mean, uh, you can make out that there is no stress on the uh, realtors, the developers, uh, even this, this whole scheme has not, con they are not bothered about it. And they are ready to take <coughs> this money, the 500 and the 1000 rupee notes with impunity, because they can adjust it, they can make it white and they can hold back their property. So, um, initial the fear which was that all this black money is <coughs> going to come to the front and it would uh, be destroyed, but I don't think so. It is going to be converted into white and what the way things are going and what your clips show it clearly shows that the builders know the trade and this cash is used not only for aggregation but also in the slum rehabilitation schemes where the slum dwellers are given a good amount of money to take their rights to take their signatures and everybody knows that mumbai is now um, an sra scheme which is a maximum prevalent in mumbai so that is why even in gujarat where i said in surat particularly where these 500 and 1000 rupee notes are now being taken at a premium because they have so much cash attached that they can um, deposit this money and get a tax benefit. So definitely what uh, footage you are showing, it should wake up the government that uh, it must look into it rather than just uh, declaring this money uh, not a legal tender. Let the income tax do raids. Let these investigating agencies come and unleash their raids, Fair, take their had, stocks. Yes, because I that would one be the way to Yes, Ramesh. I think yes, in terms of uh, solutions, uh, making uh, the ease of doing business, uh, I think the Maharashtra government, Fadnavis, is is uh, <coughs> quite committed to it, uh, making uh, applications uh, online for uh, approvals. Today, when, when you have 30 to 40 different approvals which uh, a developer needs to get all over the country to uh, build, there is obviously there is scope for corruption. I think the very fact that we're going to make it online, we're going to make it more transparent, we're going to make it... No, but you uh, know, Ramesh, I would like for the government to mean what it says. The truth is there isn't enough... Two years have passed. Yeah. Two years have passed. But no At least I've seen, I've seen power. this what government uh, trying their is best. There enough, uh, the is there enough of a reward, Ramesh, right now to being an honest developer? There are several I developers we so. know of in the market who don't take money in cash. Are they being rewarded I for, think taking the, the, for taking the rough and the tough road today? I think uh, in the medium to long term, uh, those developers will definitely benefit. Uh, more in terms of uh, liquidity availability, more in terms of FDI uh, funds who will uh, chase them. Today, if you look at where the money is going, uh, typically it goes to people who are contract worthy, who are trustworthy, people who complete their projects on time, people who deliver the projects. No, but, but you uh, are talking about good karma. Uh, I'm, I'm <coughs> talking about I'm talking about law and order. I'm talking about investigation. I'm talking about the book being thrown at people who behave in this manner. So Jay, we'll watch this clip and then I want you I want you to comment on what's happening here. Play, we'll play out the clip, clip number five. Yeah, uh, this is our option. Either you have to premium premium. Or you have to premium. I'm not... I mean, you have to block me, you have to give me from either of the case. And yeah, person time will that will be very, as I said, on Abdul Bin Lake, or Ubin Pehm, or the side carrying at the eight days. So they would have phone cut to Shanta Kapaja. Take it on. You can't do it. No, but the pup a beast who hold me near such a sea hull. So you pakagas bin day. Kagas be kagas rucky karoke cow. You don't have, you, all you have is till 10th of December, whatever you want to take a call. Your maybe somewhere else, you don't have much time. For anyone who has that, you can't. Either you invest in diamonds, you invest wherever you want to. But you make it. So you are saying we just have to pay a premium on the cash that time. Only on the cash. Only uh -huh. on the cash, yes. And what kind of percent is it? 25%, you know, 25 to 30% of the time. Do you have to pay cash? Yes. Cash on cash. Cash on cash. Yes. Cash on cash. Yes. That's it. Oh, Bobby, as I said, if things go on a serious note, if Abhi wants to try to negotiate, we'll get the best deal out of it. Now, first, we have to understand. Then we can talk how much yes. I can give you cash on cash. Exactly. And uh, if I give you 500,000 for premium, hai, if I give you 2,000? I give you time. Now, Feb, I give you 51 lakhs. Hmm. Yeah, whatever you negotiate with me. Hmm. Aram se. Meko koi gai nahi. 
I am not in a hurry. You take your call. In the end, you should be happy. That's what matters. आप सोचो आपको अगर जगह पसंद आई है आपको सब कुछ यू नो एज पर योर माइंड सेट सब सेट आउट देन नोन थिंग आई एम गिविंग यू आई एम रेडी टू गिव यू टाइम आई एम रेडी टू गिव यू लोन फैसिलिटी मैं आपको सारी चीज़ करवा के सकती बट इट हैज़ टू बी योर हैप्पी डिसीजन कैश के ऊपर कैश इट वॉज वेरी वेरी क्लियर डज गेट एनी क्लियर देन दैट दिस इज दी ऑफर बींग मेड इन द मार्केट राइट नाउ कैश के ऊपर कैश आई विल चार्ज यू अ प्रीमियम देर आर सेवरल इलीगैलिटीज यूर वन ऑफ कॉर्स इज एक्सेप्टिंग टेंडर दैट इज नॉट लीगल डिस्काउंटिंग करेंसी इन द मार्केट विच इज ऑल्सो नॉट अलाउड एंड ऑफ कॉर्स द इंटायर प्रोसेस ऑफ रजिस्टरिंग लोअर एंड नॉट पेइंग द टैक्स द स्टैम्प ड्यूटी दैट यू आर सपोज टू पे दिस इज अ बिग एक्सपोजे वे वी डिस्कवर्ड ऑन स्पाई कैमरा दैट द रियल इस्टेट इंडस्ट्री इज नॉट जस्ट एक्सेप्टिंग मनी इन कैश इट्स एक्सेप्टिंग द ओल्ड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड रुपी नोट्स with a discount you get a massive discount if you're willing to pay up to 60% in cash if you don't have the old notes you have the new notes then apparently they are even happier they will wait up till february next year to allow you to make that payment even today viewers homes that are priced at 13 and a half thousand rupees a square foot are being registered at 11000 rupees a square foot upwards of 3 lakh rupees and more have to be paid in cash the first visit we were told that you have to pay a minimum of 32 lakh rupees in cash if you can go up to 50 lakh rupees or 60 lakh rupees we will be very happy we will give you a massive discount also there is a daily trading rate of premium on the old cash if you give us a certain amount you'll have to pay 20 25 sometimes 30% to get that money changed and to make it acceptable that is the price that is the price of changing your money today I want to go first to Sujay Kaleri. Sujay, uh, Sujay Kanta Wala, we saw we saw that video. We saw the offers that were being made. Money is being discounted. Legal and uh, illegal tender is being accepted in the market. Where does this leave us from a law and order point of view? And why hasn't there been a stronger crackdown on this? We have all seen an offence unfolding in front of us. It's there and staring at us. These are cognizable offences. These are non-bailable offences. FIR should be registered. People should be caught red-handed. That's what I said. We need crack teams, and only then will be successful in catching these culprits who are trying to defeat this policy. Because couple of examples you set, and couple of convictions that follow in fast track trials, mm. and things will become smoother. And the honest taxpayer like you and me will hold our head high. So therefore, that is most important that these people have to be brought to justice. Uh, cases have to be registered immediately because these are cognizable and non-bailable offences. I'm sorry to repeat myself. Faye, before we yes. uh, Faye, before we went on a break, you said uh, the reason for the price increases uh, we are not able to afford is just because the developers end up charging uh, so much and because of the black. Why are we forgetting that uh, nearly 35 to 40 percent of the cost of your home goes in taxes? Fair Why enough. are we forgetting? Many developers have come on record and told that um, nearly five to ten percent of the cost of the product goes in uh, just uh, getting uh, approvals uh, to various uh, authorities. Why are we forgetting? Just delay in approvals is costing you the cost of a developer's funding today is anywhere between 15 to 20 percent. Hmm. Why are you not mentioning it? If you add up all this, we are talking of 50 percent plus. just in these aspects and why you always blaming the developer definitely there is bad apples definitely there are developers uh, who today quote more than what is uh, there in the market but today if you look at the profit no, margins no. of so, most so, developers so, in the Ravish, country Ravish, just to justify to, what i'm saying what to what, a 20 okay. 15 just, to 20 just to justify kind of if i go into the market <laughs> on a tds savings which is salaried and every salaried person has tax deducted at source before they even see their own monthly earnings competing with someone who has not paid any tax at all how do you keep up and compete for the same product that was my point i agree with everything you say ramesh these are points that we brought up on the channel several times several times in the past that india is india is avdut wag you can respond to this india is nearly the worst country in the world when it comes to ease of doing business for construction permits we have fallen two points in the last one year Out of 189, we are currently 185 in the world. That is where we stand. That is true, and that cost of getting those approvals, which I must again admire the fact that Israel Sheikh acknowledged on television that there are bribes that need to be paid to various people on local level. That adds to the cost as well. 
Yeah, that's true, but somebody see basically whatever whatever the panelists are saying are is true. It is mm. not and nobody can deny it. There has to, uh, the bureaucrats are taking money in Mumbai Municipal Corporation also. The building proposal departments are taking money, and I am loud and uh, open to say on this national challenge that the corporation uh, officers are corrupt. They are taking money. And that is why somebody has also said that the money which goes uh, to the bureaucrats, the money which goes to the taxation, um, uh, around 30-35% money goes over there. Now when we are talking about this demonetization, let us not change the topic. Basically try to understand that government has given, uh, 30th December is the last date. You can put money. I am going to ask you a simple question. You were talking about the spot rate. Mm. Had it been over there, why the person has to go through the route of builder to convert the money? If that spot rate is available, that spot rate is also available outside. He or she can go with 1 lakh rupees with 20% um, uh, uh, That spot rate, rate is not he a legal or she market. Will get 80, rupees. Why he, has to, he or she has to route the things through builder? So basically, let us not start blaming the builder community. <coughs> there are always good and bad builders. There are always good and bad no, actually, journalists. Actually, I think there you misunderstood me. Bad, uh, Abdul Bhag, I'm not there blaming the builder community. Bad, uh, I'm pointing fingers at the government right now who brought about a demonetization plan to stop black money. But that is not the we end have of the evidence of the fact plan. that the black this money has not stopped. not the end of the demonetization please, plan. Please. It has just started. You have to give it some time to the Prime It has been three weeks, Minister. Mr. Vag. It has been three weeks. So, so what? Listen, three listen. Weeks. So, so what? Fair, so can what? I, can I respond time is up to the, the time is up to 30th of December can I for putting all gentleman? your 500,000 yes. rupees out of I am asking you problem. a simple question. It's Only 1.24 crore people are paying tax in this country. It's an age-old problem with the it government. Has that taken, they have shown the guts to crore people. Uh, attack. Everybody is earning less than 2.5 lakh rupees. <laughs> if you divide that by 12, your monthly income is only 20,000. So are sure. you spending more than 8,000 rupees per week? If the government is allowing to withdraw you 4,000 rupees, that should be good enough. It means that you are earning more than that, you are not paying tax and you are evading the tax. Only 1.24 crore people are paying tax. So well, how I, I'm, I'm very over? proud to say, Mr. Abdul Wag, I've been a salary professional for two decades. And all of my form 16s are available for scrutiny if you'd like them. No, is, 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 is she trying to say that people who want to withdraw more money have no savings in the bank? That they have only 20,000, they exhaust the 20,000, take the salary, then exhaust the 20,000. Well, Mr. Wag, they have savings also, and sometimes you need more than, than the money that you're mentioning. They may need money for various things, medical expenses, weddings, all kinds of things. You don't earn 20,000 exhaust, earn again and do that. You I can think your go logic is going on completely wrong. Off, sir. You need to you get your facts correct now. Don't talk you're getting all your logic wrong people, here. Poor people do your not logic are not working. I, I invite them. anybody on the Say, panel here whose salary you are, you are, and a taxpayer are, you are, to let's just talk about quality of life in our society. So are you expecting all of us to survive on 12 rupees a day, Mr. Abdulfaq? If every Indian, if every Indian, irrespective of what their salary is, survived on a rationed amount of money, what would happen to our economy that survives largely on domestic spending? Now, Mr. Vyas is a economics expert. Yeah. What happens if you yeah. ration out money to a country that is thriving on domestic spending where we basically buy our own product? Mr. Vag believes that we should all be able to live on the ration of cash that's available to us. No, basically... See, India is the largest free market in the world. Not only that, India is the largest free market in the world. There is a lot of... Huge, there is a huge bottom of the pyramid market. So, so India what? has their strength. And that is what is attracting other multinationals to come here with the consumer products and eatables. Absolutely. So, we have an inherent strength as far as our own markets are concerned. But coming back to the issue, you know, whatever we discussed, one thing has emerged very clearly and I would again go back and quote Dr. Manmohan Singh. He said there is nothing wrong per se with the demonetization. There may be problems in its implementation which it is just seven, three weeks. You know, you are, you are dealing with a scheme which is age, decades old. In three weeks, you are not going to Fair achieve entire uh, uh, target that you have. Fair, Fair. So it will take On time. There are other issues, like what were being men <coughs> mentioned by the, uh, uh, okay. one of the panelists Fair. regarding construction industry. There are bad practices, clearances don't come fast. 
there are is, uh, uh, cash money to be given. Yes. These also simultaneously so, okay, so tell will me have this. to tell me attack. this, Mr. So Mr. Jain Arang, we ask what action will the government take? What action will the government take against the expose that we have presented before you tonight? To the Prime Minister. What action will the government take against the against what you have discovered in the clips that I have presented to you on this show tonight? Mr. Vyas? Nothing. Sujay? No, apart from this case, I am sure government must have taken clips, a note of it and whatever is required to be done shall be done. No, apart from I, this I am not here as a spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janta Party. You have a spokesperson Fake, can I make of the a point debate. Here? You can uh, convey him. I will also convey through my own channels okay. the kind of debate that we had. <laughs> apart from these clips that you have shown, hmm. apart from these clips, a couple of days back, a sub-divisional magistrate along with this driver were arrested in Palgar, mm. with, uh, 50 lakh rupees cash, out of which 47 were counterfeit, 3 lakh were uh, uh, so. uh, real notes. That case has been made. They were arrested. They have been uh, put in police custody. I want to see how this trial is uh, uh, fast-tracked and they are convicted and brought to justice. That will be a setting example to show that nobody is going to escape uh, where cash is concerned. And corruption will not be pardoned in any manner. I want to see how the state uh, appoints their top prosecutors and uh, secures a conviction. Sanjay, Sanjay, ja, Sanjay, ja, go ahead. You, you know, Fay, the very fact that Mr. Modi's government is giving us a rupees 2000 currency note is itself a manifestation of how confused this government is. I mean, everybody is aware that principally a higher denomination note makes it more convenient for black marketers to actually transport. It, it encourages portability of black, black money currency. So clearly, this is a government that doesn't know what it is doing. And I think the fundamental point that we cannot ignore, that Mr. Vyas needs to acknowledge, that the source of the problem is where you really need it to be focused at. And the government has really been doing nothing at all. And once December 30th is over, you are once again going to have a thriving black, black money economy. You see, even today as we talk, there is a parallel shadow economy which is trading on the old currency, the premiums that you are talking about. Now, there are multiple ways of beating the system. And everybody who's aware of how India's financial system works, I've been a banker, I can tell you one thing for a fact, Fay. It is impossible for the Indian banking system to audit frauds that will happen. Today, the bank, bank officers are going to be more susceptible to being corrupt because they can be bought out. They can just create a, you know, a backdated fixed deposits. All things can be done. And even right now, the people can be hand in glove with all kinds of shady bankers and convert their black money to white. So you are very, very susceptible at this stage. And for anyone to believe that just demonetization will is a panacea for sorting out black money, they are free to live in a fool's paradise. Demonetization was done twice before, and it did not result in wiping out black money, despite the fact that it had the best of intentions. All right, uh, S. Sen Gupta is on the phone line from Kolkata. Mr. Sen Gupta, if you can hear me, you're on the show. You wanted to add something to our conversation. Go ahead. Yes, please. What I want to supplement with your ideas yes. is that Modiji, our beloved Prime Minister, is thinking of cashless economy and corruption-free country. That is Ram Rajyo. This is utopian idea. Hmm. What is my personal view that everybody right. cannot be corrupt okay. because he does not have opportunity. Okay. What, whoever, what's your point, what's your point is Mr. Sengu? having Sengu? opportunity yes. to take bright. Okay. To take bright. He cannot be made a sannasi. Today, who is taking 500 rupees note or 2,000 uh, rupees note, he will take 2,000 rupees note. Okay. So you are saying the intention, the intention will always be king. It is not about... It's not about whether or not you use this note or that note. Someone who wants to take a bribe and give a bribe and pay in cash will always do so. In fact, on, on that very point, I want to play another clip for, for the panel and for our viewers. In this clip, <coughs> in this clip, this salesperson, who is, by the way, selling affordable housing, Mr. Varg, selling affordable housing, 
in the Kalyan area of MMR, <coughs> affordable housing that has received speedy, uh, speedy provisions from the state government, these people are actually telling the customer, listen, you are a special investor because you're bringing in cash and we have had investors unofficially investing with us for several years. We give them great deals. We will also give you a great deal. This is what is being offered. Take a look. We've had investors who've been investing with us for a very, very long time. You can be one of those special investors. Don't register the flat now. Give us the cash. Register it after you get it in possession. You won't have to pay VAT. You won't have to pay service tax. Pankaj Kapoor. Yeah. This is not new. We're not hearing this for the first time. We're hearing it for the first time on camera. We're hearing it for the first time post-demonetization. So nothing really has changed yeah. in the real estate industry. You know, it is a deep-rooted problem. So I uh, don't expect the things to change overnight. But it's a beginning. And I see this. This is not really happening all over. I completely agree with uh, what Ramesh was saying, that a lot of cleaning work has started happening. And the kind of a regulation which we are bringing, where we are bringing transparency, I think most of the things will go away. But frankly speaking, today is a time of opportunity among those who are opportunists. And, and, and the one who are stuck up. So they are actually, you know, uh, trying to cash out with those guys who have got good amount of money and they want to really park somewhere. So uh, overall sense, I would say that, yes, such thing is still prevails and it will take time for it to clean up completely, but it's a beginning. I want to bring in Israel Sheikh right now. Israel Sheikh, there is, again, an open secret that a lot of cash <coughs> flows into the real estate industry as unofficial funding, of which there is no paper trail. Obviously, that has not stopped. Oh, Faye, I just wanted to know that. Where, from where does this cash flow is coming from? Like, if mm. does the builder is investing in the another developer project or what? From where the cash is coming? Either from a businessman, either from a, some politician, either from a government A-class officers, if you have a white money, why do you want to pay 30% additional to the real estate property? You can deposit in the bank. There is a no limit in depositing your money if Absolutely. it is a white. Israel Sheikh, there is no, there, you need two hands to clap. So while I agree the person who is giving is making a mistake here, let's not absolve See, the person who's taking. Just because someone is giving me black money doesn't mean I have Faye, to Faye, take it. I haven't said that people are not taking it. I have told you clearly there are a few developers who is taking it. As I said, you can check my as an inventory in last couple of years. I haven't sold any of the inventory in Reckoner value. I have sold in the higher than the Reckoner because a lot of I mean, Abha, uh, last time Abha just said a few minutes before that the developer is only registering property in Reckoner value, which is wrong. There are good apples and bad apples, I just said. So you need to understand there are people who wanted to park. And sometimes when things are lying and ahead, developer in need of know, money to give to, a, a give to the government office to sanction the... Yeah. Uh, sanction our plan and all that time we take it. Fear. Okay, okay, so I, I, this, is, this is a point. This is a point. I want to pick this up because he almost did not say it the previous time, which is you're saying that because you have to pay bribes to get permissions, you Absolutely. have no choice but to collect money in cash. Pankaj? Certainly. And I have seen a couple of salaried guys who have broken their FD, withdrawn the cash and gone to the developer and paid them. 
And you know, a lot of time with the developer, they say that they have a necessity to generate this cash because they have to pay bribe. And one more thing which I want to raise over here is because political involvement and most of these political parties and, and, and the people are greatly involved with the developer. A lot of time you go to NCR and all before land pooling, people say that 3,000 acres is being held by a big politician of some, such and such party. Everywhere people say this land belongs to such and such uh, politician. So there is a good amount of political money which is getting involved into the real estate. And that's where. So I see when we are sitting down and blaming the developer, I see blaming developer is a very wrong way. I think these are the small actors. Mm. These are the very small actors. You have to go behind and see that who are the directors of them. We do you believe? Like you know, you yeah, who are the directors? Kush Kapoor, Ramesh and, and, Nair, do you believe that demonetization is the move? Yeah, it is that the will move. Go after it, the people and who are I, generating and I, cash. And, and I would say that you know, since a lot of money goes into parking into lands, I see that India has reached to a threshold where India needs one tax, which is called vacant land tax. Mm. You know, if you want to solve this problem, the country's growth. It, okay. You know, we want the geography to be more prosperous, housing to really be solved. I think so, India needs a vacant land uh, to tax add, today. Yeah, and to today. add to what he's saying, that unless you don't unearth these shadowy deals which operate in dark areas in the night and sleazy kind of thing, <laughs> unless you don't have technology and yeah. people to actually catch these people, yeah. You will never no, be able I, to I, apply let the me, law. Let me the point law out. Fair, none fair, fair. of this was, 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 none fair, of this fair, was dark, I, none I of have, it was dingy, none of this happened in the middle of the night. This was broad daylight in a very, very respectable sales office in cities of Mumbai, Thane, Kalyan and the neighbouring regions of the MMR. We tried out, we went to affordable housing, to median income housing, to premium housing, to luxury housing and... I'm not saying all the developers did this. Several large developers absolutely would not go down that route, but they were enough for us. We got enough people off making us offers to put out this story. Pankaj, go ahead. You know, I have one more point. Mr. Uh, Mr. Jha is there, and I, I actually admire Mr. Manmohan Singh and his speech when he came forward and he said that, you know, it's an organized loot. But frankly speaking, for the country's sake, it's a time for Congress to come forward and say that what are the modalities of those organized loot? Because that will be a big serving. Is standing behind the poor people and saying that demonetization is just, you know, killing the old people. Forget about it. Let the let the parallel economy to continue because the whole country and the you. poor are surviving. All right, answer, Very important as an Pankaj, economist, Pankaj, we need to really give, let's give him come some time. forward. We have, we have a few and, minutes and say that what are the modalities? It will be a big serving, uh, service Jha, to the nation, ahead. I believe. Sanjay Jha, go ahead. Yeah.